when I got to middle school, that was my first experience in being in choir, a formal choir, school choir. And from there, I went on to be in choir in high school. I did competitions like the GMEA um, conferences, all state. I always made those. I was always in the all state choir in high school and middle school. And then, of course, from there, you know, went on to college and it's my life. The first time hearing her sing was like, like amazing. It was just kind of like speechless. Everybody was just like, can you do that more often? Like, can you know? So like, she has different um, things that she sings at and we try to support her as well because she's an awesome singer. She has a very unique voice. Like, she is a contralto. So uh, I've never heard one before I heard Professor Hamilton. So it's awesome to hear her voice. Very beautiful, very unique. My dad used to always pull us up in front of the church to sing and it was just something that was natural to me. I was always surrounded with it with growing up in church and I just fell in love with it. So, and I know that I was wired to do, to sing. I was wired for music and there was pretty much nothing else that I could think of. I know she works at like different churches here in town. I know she works at different churches in Statesboro as well, so. I'm teaching now, but I went to school for vocal performance, not really music ed. So I was looking for more, more um, opportunities to sing because like I said, I love singing. And I knew that if I was at the cathedral, that, that would give me the opportunities to do different works and to just be exposed um, to different works and also to gain opportunities in singing more. So when I finally made up my mind, after the post had been out for like a month or two, I finally made up my mind and I was going to, uh, I was reaching out to a friend, hey, give me the contact information so I can reach out to the director at Cathedral of St. John the Baptist so I can, you know, audition for this, this job. And so she's like, okay, I'll get the information, I'll be right back with you. And then she, came, she sent me an email back, was like, hey, he's gonna be sending you an email. He said, you, a lot of people are recommending you for this position. So he's gonna be sending you an email, and that's how it happened. He sent me an email, we met, and I was kind of hired on the spot. And now I just, I love what I do. Being in a class with Professor Hamilton is awesome, first of all. Um, she's very patient, she's a very patient teacher. I've ever met in my life. <laughs> um, she's fun. She um, she definitely takes her time with the students to make sure that we learn our music, make sure that we understand it, and that's a big part of her teaching. I teach because I love sharing what I've learned to my students, especially those who have a love for music. I want to give them everything that I was given. I want them to have the same passion that, that I have about music. She helps me with not only music stuff but like life situations and um it's just it's, it's great it's wonderful that's like it's like the mother that i have on campus you know like i know if something wrong okay i gotta go to her i have her phone number i call her anytime um, i've had concert choir with her for a while so i know how she is i know how she loves her students she loves the music she takes her time to go over things over and over again even when we don't listen to her <laughs> but she She's an amazing person.